Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sushmata. Today I am going to talk about a commonly used dental cement in dentistry which is calcium hydroxide. So let's discuss calcium hydroxide powder by Waldent. Walden Calcium Hydroxide Powder is a white odorless powder that forms a paste intended for temporary root canal dressing when mixed with liquids such as local anesthetic solution, distilled water or normal saline as it eliminates the remaining microorganisms and prevents reinfections. The molecular formula of calcium hydroxide is The molecular weight is 74.08 gram per mole the solubility of calcium hydroxide is low in water which decreases as the temperature rises and the pH is 12.5 to 12.8 and is insoluble in alcohol. Walden calcium hydroxide dry powder is used in weeping canals. It is used as an inter-appointment intra-canal medicament. It is used as an endodontic sealer. It is also used in apexification and apexogenesis process and is used in cases with root resorption. When calcium hydroxide is mixed with pure water to the consistency of a light paste, it does not set and in this form, it cannot be used directly under any resin paste restoration such as composite resins, compomers and resin modified glass inomers because it is hydrophilic and would interfere with bonding system. The armamentarium required for the mixing of Walden Calcium Hydroxide Powder are Walden Calcium Hydroxide Powder A cool glass slab A mixing spatula A normal saline Take an approx quantity of Walden Calcium Hydroxide Powder and normal saline on a cool glass slab and mix to a creamy consistency Use lincherous spiral, gutta percha point or an endodontic file for applying calcium hydroxide into the canal. While using lenturo spiral for calcium hydroxide placement, adjust the rubber stopper 2 mm shorter from the working length. Make sure that the lenturo spiral is not binding into the canal and is moving freely. Now coat the lenturo spiral with calcium hydroxide paste and place it into the canal with pumping motion. Repeat coating the lenturo spiral 3 to 4 times or as required. Now with the help of sterile paper point, blot dry the excess fluid and at the same time pack down the paste into the canal. Remove the excess calcium hydroxide paste with the help of sterile cotton swab. Finally seal the excess cavity with temporary filling until next appointment. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed our video then like, share and subscribe to our channel.